But first, of course, we are brought to you by JBS Farm. And today, we don't want to forget men. So this is barbershop soap. And it is definitely masculine. And it's, uh, no, well, I just want to say masculine. Men soaps, men fragrances are like beer to me. They all kind of taste the same. <laughs> but this barbershop is really nice. I went to Bed Bath and Beyond, and I looked at uh, Glitzy Fritzy had me thinking I wanted the um, Zadro mirror, but they've had so many problems with it. And every time I read his reviews, they have terrible customer service and stuff. And that's why I went to Bed Bath and Beyond because you can bring it back in a year if it breaks or whatever, and they stand behind the products. So I was looking at it, and I couldn't decide. They had several models. I couldn't decide. Couldn't decide. And then I went ahead, not that far priced off, was the Simple Human. And, oh my gosh, it has, a, what I wanted was LED lighting. I wanted ten times <laughs> the uh, magnification because I get stupid little hairs and now they're getting gray so you can't find them. Um, so I wanted a super mirror. The, the big one was almost $200. And even, I had a coupon. I had 20% off. was another reason I went to Bit Bath and Beyond, and uh, I saw this one. Now, all of them, I think, just have the magnification size. This one is a travel one. The other thing that I wanted was, you know, that I said that I wanted was the LED lighting because it's a true light. It's not fluorescent and it's not halogen where you're yellow or you're blue. Um, and then they tell you all this kind of thing when you're trying to buy it anyway. Um, never change a bulb. It's cordless. It, 10 time magnification. Oh, and then the sensor. Well, look at this cute little case that it comes in. So if I was packing um, check baggage, this would fit nicely. But um, I'm going to go watch my son graduate with his PhD in physical chemistry. But I'm only staying two nights, so I'm not going to take it. But anyway, it comes with little warranty and a cleaning cloth, like you do your glasses. You're not supposed to use um, tissue because you'll scratch things. But um, it also came with a little cord, which I forgot about, and I've been using my smartphone cord. It, so it's a funny little way to, um, except it doesn't have a wall plug, huh? Well, you'd have to buy that. Don't like it. That's the thing that I don't like. Anyway, it comes out like this. And I have left this on because, um, you know, it would rub on it. So the base is nice and solid. And you can go like that. Or, if your counter is lower, you can make it tall like that. Um, as you can see, it's out, and I can go here. But as soon as I go here, it lights up. And look how much light. I mean, now all I can see when I hold it this close is my nose to my chin. If I'm out this far, then I'm blurry. So I have to be in close. It's So it's not great for putting on foundation and, and general stuff. I have it in front of my vanity in my bathroom with my mirror behind so I can do that business. But for eye makeup and eyeliner, I can get nice and close. And I can see, oh, I've got this in the way or that in the way. Or I didn't blend here enough. Because I am so nearsighted. I can't even see this far, just about. Well, now I've had LASIK, so now I can't see that far anyway because I'm, you know, need close-up glasses. So, there it is. Here's the little plug, and I've got another little video showing how you charge it. But the, the little plug that the, I guess you call it USB, anyway, plugs in. But you'll need a, a wall plug for this. And I am charging it right now. And it has you use your smartphone charger, which I think is odd. And it fits right in the back there. And is the charging light to see if it's charging. If it stays solid green, then it's charged. But see, it's still pulsing, so it's not charged all the way yet. Back up. And I the 5 inch uh, 10 times magnification and all I could see was about this much at a time 
but I could find every bloody hair, so I felt very confident that way. And you could do precise um, makeup application. The problem was, it went crazy. <laughs> uh, when I would take my face away, it would stay on, and I would have to use the switch on the back to turn it off. And you can see how sensitive they are. Um, the final straw was when I plugged it in to charge it, the light would go on and never go out. So I was burnt out on that. So I took it back to Bed Bath & Beyond. Not a question, you know. I mean, I told them, of course, what was wrong with it and stuff, but they just took it back no problem. The other thing that happened when I got this one, not only did I get the USB cord, I got the plug that goes in the wall, and I think there was something because this was not in the other box. So I'm glad I got a new one. When I was returning the other one and wanting to order another one, um, the manager came over, you know, so he could sign the thing. It was okay to take back. And I said, okay, is Simple Human okay? Or is this, you know, pretty typical? Do you get returns? He says, no, we don't get many returns. He says, Simple Human is the best you can get. So I, with confidence, I repurchased. Yay, today my replacement for my six and a half inch Simple Human, they replaced it with a eight inch sensor mirror. I had to do a little convincing to replace my six and a half inch because they discontinued it, but um, I got them to replace, which I will be happy. And so I will take it out and try not to jiggle this camera too much. And let's see if it works. I'll probably have to charge it, but um, let's see if this thing works. So I got the top part open. And here's a little tab. I just thought it was interesting to see how this is packaged up. Oh, so I pulled this out of the box. Tools for efficient living. So it looks to me like this just slides off you know like that but there slid that off here's a little packet of information and a cleaning rag and here's the new mirror oh boy I think this is adjustable but what I've learned is this little piece here and I don't know maybe this piece too is plastic not metal Here's the Costco one, my $20 Costco one I've been using. Yes, here's the charging cord and the little charger that you plug into the wall. The little prongs flip up and then you plug this in, charge up your mirror, and then you can leave it unplugged. And voila, you know, when you wiggle in front of it, it'll go on. So, thank you, Simple Human, for standing behind your products. I will shoot when it is charged up, and off we go. I'm so relieved they replaced it. I was, I'm struggling with this one. It's um, eight, is it eight times? This one is five magnification. Yeah, this is eight times magnification, and that's fine, but this light is nothing. It's just a fluorescent inside. And this lights up your whole face, and you can see every little hair and zit and get them. See, so yeah, I plugged it in, and this one goes up, plugs in on the base. The six and a half inch plugged in up on the back of the mirror. So you're seeing this pulse. The instruction said to press on and off the power button. When you want it to go, the sensor will automatically activate the light ring as you approach. The indicator ring will pulse when green while charging and turn solid green when fully charged. The indicator ring 
will glow red when the mirror needs to be recharged. And I saw that on the six and a half. Note, before the first use, fully charge the mirror. One charge will last up to five weeks. So we'll see. My other one never lasted five weeks. It lasts about two, two and a half weeks. But I sit in front of it and put on makeup. I put on all my makeup in front of it. So I'll charge it up until it turns solid green, and then I get to use it. I just have to show you the difference in light. Now I've turned this one on. Now watch this simple human. Look at the difference in light. Now, here's my hand. So that's about five inches, six inches away. And here's my hand. Now well, let's get them separated so that light doesn't. So here I'm this far away. And then here. Anyway, it's a heck of a lot brighter. I mean, look at these two guys. Um, I love my simple human. See, it just turns itself off because I'm not there. Thank you, simple human. I love my mirror. He likes the smell. Well, he thinks there's an apple involved. But thank you so much for your support. Uh, <laughs> he wants to come and see you. And I really appreciate it. It's so much fun making for you guys. And if you have a special request, if you have a special request, um, I'd be happy to try to do it. So until next time, we'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>